Good morning all and welcome to morning prayer. This is Monday, the fifth week in Lent. Our morning prayer today begins on page 304. Let us join together in prayer. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm and keep us from evil. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father, you hate nothing you have created, and you forgive the sins of all who repent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our failings, may receive from you the source of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Forty days and forty nights you were fasting in the wild. Forty days and forty nights, tempted and yet undefiled. Shall not we your sorrow share? and from worldly joys abstain, fasting with unceasing prayer, strong with you to suffer pain. Then if Satan on us press, flesh or spirit to assail, victor in the wilderness, grant that we may not faint nor fail. So shall we have peace divine, holier gladness ours shall be. Round us too shall angels shine, such as served you faithfully. Keep, O oh keep us, Savior dear, ever constant by your side, that with you we may appear at the eternal Easter tide. Psalm 37 Don't worry about the wicked or envy those who do wrong, for like grass they soon fade away. Like spring flowers, they soon wither. Trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you your heart's desires. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust in him, and he will help you. He will make your innocence radiate like the dawn, and the justice of your cause will shine like the noonday sun. Be still in the presence of the Lord, and wait patiently for him to act. Don't worry about evil people who prosper, or fret about their wicked schemes. Stop being angry. Turn from your rage. Do not lose your temper. It only leads to harm. For the wicked will be destroyed, but those who trust in the Lord will possess the land. Soon the wicked will disappear. Though you look for them, they will be gone. The lowly will possess the land and will live in peace and prosperity. But the wicked plot against the godly. They snarl at them in defiance. But the Lord just laughs. He sees their day of judgment coming. The wicked draw their swords and string their bows to kill the poor and the oppressed, to slaughter those who do right. But the swords will stab their own hearts, and their bows will be broken. It is better to be godly and have little, than to be evil and rich. For the strength of the wicked will be shattered, but the Lord takes care of the godly. Day by day the Lord takes care of the innocent, and they will receive an inheritance that lasts forever. They will not be disgraced in hard times, even in famine, they will have more than enough. But the wicked will die. The Lord's enemies are like flowers in a field. They will disappear like smoke. The wicked borrow and never repay, but the godly are generous givers. Those the Lord blesses will possess the land, but those he curses will die. The Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. Though they stumble, they will never fall, for the Lord holds them by the hand. Once I was young, and now I am old. 
Yet I have never seen the godly abandoned, or their children begging for bread. The godly always give generous loans to others, and their children are a blessing. Turn from evil and do good, and you will live in the land forever. For the Lord loves justice, and he will never abandon the godly. He will keep them safe forever, but the children of the wicked will die. The godly will possess the land, and will live there forever. The godly offer a good counsel. They teach right from wrong. They have made God's law their own. So they will never slip from his path. The wicked wait in ambush for the godly, looking for an excuse to kill them. But the Lord will not let the wicked succeed, or let the godly be condemned when they are put on trial. Put your hope in the Lord. Travel steadily along his path. He will honor you by giving you the land. You will see the wicked destroyed. I have seen the wicked and ruthless people flourishing like a tree in a native soil. But when I looked again, they were gone. Though I searched for them, I could not find them. Look at those who are honest and good, for a wonderful future awaits those who love peace. But the rebellious will be destroyed. They have no future. The Lord rescues the godly. He is their fortress in times of trouble. The Lord helps them, rescuing them from the wicked. He saves them, and they will find shelter in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Exodus. Yahweh called to Moses from the mountain, saying, Give these instructions to the family of Jacob. Announce it to the descendants of Israel. You have seen what I did to the Egyptians. You know how I carried you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Now, if you will obey me and keep my covenant, you will be my own special treasure from among all the peoples on earth. For all the earth belongs to me, and you will be my kingdom of priests, my holy nation. This is the message you must give to the people of Israel. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is still near. Let the wicked abandon their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. Let them turn to Yahweh, that he may have mercy on them, to our God, who will richly pardon. For my thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, says Yahweh, and my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. For as the rain and snow fall down from the heavens, and stay on the ground to water the earth, causing the grain to grow, and producing seed for the farmer, for bread, and for the hungry. So it is with my word. I send it out, and it always produces fruit. It will accomplish all I want it to, and it will prosper everywhere I send it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the morning we call to you, O Lord. Be merciful and hear our prayer. Heal your church, Father, and make it holy, that through her your light may shine on all. Turn us from every wickedness that makes us live in darkness, and transform us with your light. Open our eyes and our hearts to those who surround us, that we may behold their needs and minister to them in love. Make uh, our Lenten prayer ex an expression of our love for you, and fill us in our times of prayer with a deep hope in the things to come.
Share your life fully with our brothers and sisters who are dying today, that they may rest in your peace and arise in your glory. Lord, help us see your love for us as we go through these final days of Lent. Help us see the suffering you went through because of us. Help us see your pain and suffering dying on the cross because of us. For in that, O oh Lord, we are given forgiveness and the gift of life if we believe in you. Be with those that are working hard today. Give them a desire to work and support their families. Be with those on the streets this day. May those who have much reach out and give to those who have little. Restore families in your peace, O oh Lord. Grant them a fresh start as they turn to you. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Blessed and holy, ever merciful and forgiving, may we turn from what is evil and do what is good. In your sight, O God, for you have saved us by the cross of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have beheld His glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in His peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his way, and ordain his peace. And may souls that are faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. My brothers and sisters, Rejoice in the Lord today. Know that he's the one that starts your day. He's with you all night. He wakes you up in the morning. He's with you all day once again. Follow him and let him lead you. And walk in the way of his cross. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen.